And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Control. This is a donation deck, this is a viewer submitted deck that looks pretty sweet. This is going to be a nice control deck built around Twisted Fate. Of course, with Twisted Fate, you need to draw eight plus cards That's a, to level it up, and that's what we're going to be doing. We're, our deck's going to be drawing lots of cards. We're going to have pick a cards uh, we'll be drawing. We have um, our Pool Sharks getting those extra draws. Glimpse Beyond also in here uh, to draw cards. Lots of ways to draw. Um, and so that's what we're going to kind of be doing. Uh, Abyssal Eye, you know, we got this this um, elusive sea monster. And then, yeah, and then uh, just um, getting a lot of card advantage, hopefully being able to control the board with good early removal, parlay, make it rain, a vile feast. Of course, we have warning shots to go along with Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods. That's some great card draw, nabbing some stuff from our opponent. With all that card draw, our, we have a couple slot bots that will hopefully be uh, huge and take over. And then we have Rekindler that can bring back Twisted Fates if Twisted Fate dies. So we can, uh, you know, bring that back. And then, uh, you know, some Riptide Rexes to finish some games out at the top end. So it looks real interesting. Uh, and definitely looks like a lot of fun to play. Looks like we're going to have some long, grindy games. So let's get right to it. Let's play some Twisted Control. And combine Shadow Isles Control Elements with Twisted Fate. Uh, we'll be playing five games as normal. See if we can do better than our 3-2. It's been a 3-2 day today, but there's still nothing really wrong with 3-2. and two. That's 60% win rate. We'll take that all the time. And then after this, we're going to be playing a gauntlet because the gauntlets aren't quite open yet. They're open in about 20 minutes. And so after we get done with this video, then we'll play a gauntlet. And we're going to be playing Freljord and Noxus together with Battle Scars. That's what we're calling that one. All right, so Ezreal, Karma. This is going to be a long matchup, if I've ever seen a long matchup before. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a long matchup. All right, so we want to find... So basically the cards we want. Twisted Fate, Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods. Those are probably our, our best cards. Slot Bot's not bad. Pick a card, not bad. We can reshuffle the Make It Rain. Or the Parlay. Or that Parlay. But I guess we don't want to do that right away, right? Because we can't... We'll draw three Fleeting, but we won't have the mana to cast Fleeting Spells. I wonder if we should have three Pick-A-Cards in here. I wonder if, like, one Salvage would be better than the third Pick-A-Card. There's a lot of aggro in the meta, and that's what this deck is is designed to face all the aggro decks everywhere. As you can kind of see with these cards in hand. Very good versus aggro. I'm just hoping they don't kill. Cool. I was basically just hoping they didn't kill the the slot bot. Keep getting that thing bigger. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. I'll just go with the Mega Rain and, and these parlays. I'm not too worried about my life total right now. Life gain and stuff. I just want the slot bot to be out as long as possible and just keep on uh, gaining more stats. That's what, that's what I really want. Keep getting that health more and more. Hey, TK. Master. I'm not sure. 
I don't think I updated the decklist command, did I? There we go. What did we get? Mm. I don't like that thing being a 5-3. Specifically the 3 part of that. That's not bad. Slotbot gets to stay alive. I'll shuffle back Rekindler for now. Just play two cards. They're going to get like some draglings. This would be a little annoying. There we go. Yeah, I... I kind of wonder if we have too many pick a cards. I was hoping they were going to let me red card first before attacking. Uh, we'll use this pick a card to shuffle back the Riptide Rex. Soak it in. Yeah, I, I've i tried Battlesmith a Battlesmith Elite deck before, and it hasn't worked out, but it's been a long time since I have played that. It has been a while. I'm just going to. Uh, just going to get a spider and keep them from getting an Ezreal level up target. Hmm. So if I play Rekindler, I don't get two Pilfer goods. I can do one or the other. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I like these fleeting cards. Honestly, maybe maybe pick a card just that shouldn't be in our deck at all. I don't know, it's just, we have such expensive cards that I don't know if I really like all these fleeting cards, and when you're playing a control deck and you, like, have to play the cards that it tells you to play, that's not, not ideal. Alright, now Twisted Fates is a play, like, the, it is a play trigger to get the Destiny card, so I can't just play Rekindler and get Red Card, for example, or Gold Card or anything like that. All right, so we're going to go Merchant with Goods, and this Rekindler will be gone. Yeah, you have Sal Salvage is Burst Speed Draw. Like, I wonder if burst if Salvage is better for, for that than, than pick a card. I never disclose my sources. I feel like it could be. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Chump bump's kind of awkward because. Um, if I give if I give them a bunch of uh, mushrooms. Then if we draw their cards, then 
you know, then we draw the mushrooms and we take damage. However, we could try to keep on using these nab effects first and just lower the amount of cards in their deck a lot before we play uh, the mushroom clouds. We're six away from deep with Abyssal Eye. Whatever the call. Okay, I like that deny. Let your instinct speak. Yeah, I kind of wish we could give this slot bot like elusive, right? <laughs> this is a big slot bot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a nerf deny. <laughs> Six away from deep. <clears throat> okay. So I think that was still them only playing one spell, I think. What did we get? We got Plunder turned on. That's 7 out of 8 for Ezreal. If I play the Rex, I don't get to have Vengeance available for Ezreal. But we should probably play the Rex. It's fleeting. Well, that's unfortunate. We didn't hit the one that I wanted to hit. I guess we killed everything else. Time for a true display of skill. Okay, that's leveled up. Nineteen eight. Nineteen eight's pretty silly. All right, we've already seen two denies go from their deck. Hopefully, no more denies. Time for a true display of skill. The treasure was in me. That's seventeen twelve. No, I think I go make it rain uh, Riptide Rex. Peace begins within. We'll bring peace to Ionia. 
whatever the cost. All right, well, I'm starting with this just in case. Darn. I was hoping to hit um, the life gain cards. But we could be dead. I mean, they only have two cards. Oh, no. Never mind. They have a lot more than two cards now. That was a good card to hit. Should, maybe I should have gave him more mushroom clouds. Oh, my gosh. That's going to mill him. Oh, no. That puts him to one. I was going to say, it's going to mill him out, but no, that they still have one card left. Dang, so I'm dead. So I'm sure one of those cards, they can cast one of those cards. Alright, well, if I would have gone straight to attacks, I would have put them down to two, and then they would have just played Karma, and the, th the same thing would have happened. What if I could have just played the... Wait, cancel. One change. I wonder if I could have just played the um, the Chump Wump earlier, maybe, and gotten them some some mushrooms. Cause they they didn't have to block with Ezreal if I would have gone straight to attacks. Um, yeah, I want to get rid of these pick a cards. I just don't like in the control deck having fleeting cards that tell me exactly what I have to cast. I don't I don't like that with the control deck. Let's play Let's play two salvage and I kind of want a shipwreck hoarder to put two treasures into our deck with us drawing so much. I want a shipwreck hoarder. Yeah, nothing wrong with sleight of hand. Sleight of hand's good. We could go sleight of hand. I wonder if that gives me too much top end. But I do kind of want to put these treasures into the deck, especially like how f we can really cycle through the deck pretty fast, especially these salvages. Hmm. Okay, we'll try. We'll just try that. I could see playing sleight of hand. That card's good. That is true. If our deck is empty, you know, like if we have, you know, if we draw too much and the deck is empty, then Shipwreck Order puts two <coughs> two cards back into the deck. Treasures are super, super powerful. There's nothing wrong with the 7-5 either. But those, those treasures, though. I could see taking out one of the two Rekindlers. We kind of saw with that game, we never really had a chance to play Rekindler. Like maybe maybe just one of the rekindlers should be a uh, ship recorder. Yeah, yeah, that's helped me win win a game before too with that. Oh, this deck's suddenly gotten really popular. It's my third time to play against this already today. Well, now I don't need the parlay. Cool, so we'll wait till turn three and just play all, all of this stuff on turn three. Oh man, should I play Slopot first? Maybe I should play Slopot first. I hope they don't have the the five five you know the combo with the five five. Yes, I did not attack for one. I didn't want to attack for one, and then they play stuff after combat. It's one damage. I'd rather just pass the turn instead of risking that. They would have just gained that one life back. What else you got? Okay. What else you got? Very 
That feels pretty good, getting all those Shadow Assassins. That feels pretty good. Having Mono Shadow Assassin. The only difference between, like, waiting for, like, theirs to resolve and then Vile Feast theirs is they would have gained one life, so, you know, that only dealt. So it just kept them from gaining one life. Yeah, stealing all three Shadow Assassins, that's that's definitely a feel good. Keep them from assa assassinating any shadows. Alright, well that's an easy play. We have a, a fleeting Twisted Fate certainly playing that card. It's an easy play. Now, next turn is going to be turn seven. I, I want to play the Shipwreck Hoarder. Get those treasures into my deck. Help us find those treasures. And we need more sh Shipwreck Hoarder with, like, Chronicler of Ruin. And harrowing and stuff like that. I'll take seven. No, they don't. They'll bring that back. That's such a quick pass. Gotta want to do like harrowing or something like that, right? I'm at ten cards in hand. All right. Well, I guess I won't have ruination available. I basically want to have Ruination available for, um, for Harrowing, whenever that uh, becomes a thing. Play this and do seven damage to them. Sounds fine. That sounds fine. We'll just do that. <clears throat> I'm kind of expecting dark water scourges from them still. Like that. That's what they've been kind of waiting on. Hmm. Would have been great for me to, to find a graph or a glimpse beyond.
basically playing that one because it just costs a lot more mana. I'll take that. Pool Shark's a good one to hit off of. a good one to hit off off of uh whatever it's called another pool shark Soak it in. yeah i could grasp my own unit to keep them from gaining the five life i eh, didn't think it was that necessary to do that basically want to play the twisted fate before potentially drawing a card with abyssal eye and yes, I could have gone salvage to... So basically, I could have gone salvage to make sure that we were deep for Abyssal Eye if I wanted to. But it looks like they want to kill Twisted Fate more. That's good. Or it's not just, you know, it's not draw. You're creating random cards. It's not draw. Watch the ball, folks. Won't do any nabbing right now. I want to have, like, surprise level up Twisted Fate. I don't want them to think that Twisted Fate is that close to leveling up. You know, like, it's... It's now four out of eight, and then I can just um, surprise level it up. Uh, let's see. 13 mana... So I go, it's going to cost me six mana to level up Twisted Fate. It's probably worth it. Oh no! Oh, I have too many cards. I should be paying attention to that. One mana. One mana away from keeping this Twisted Fate alive. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a critical burn. That really did hurt. Uh, God, I don't even want to play that because I have too many cards in hand. Uh, that was my last Twisted Fate, wasn't it? Killing the opponent's going to be difficult. No, I don't have another Rekindler either, because we we burned a Rekindler with a Salvage before. Did, I have, feel like I have so many Salvages. Did I already play two Salvages? Oh no, it's just it's just the 7-drop Salvage two things. Hmm. Yeah, that was the, the absolute worst spot to have Twisted Fate, wasn't it? Well, it was fresh. I do have too many cards. 
know, if we ever want to play this treasure trove, we gotta empty our hands. Yeah, no, it's not not time for treasure trove yet. We gotta empty our hands somehow. You know, we need to only have... We gotta have room for five cards for it. Yeah, they're they're just trading with Hecarums a bunch because of uh, Harrowing. Yeah, like, that's all they've been doing is they're setting that up for Harrowing. They've only had five things die. They haven't even had a sixth thing die. left. Yeah, we can win. We still got this. When they would play another harrowing or something like that. Figure it out. That is a horrible card to draw. It's ten cards. Darn it. I should... It's not a good card to draw anyway either. Good, get some cards out of hand. Four cards. I assume we have more... So we have another warning shot. Pretty sure we have another warning shot. Clearing up space. Probably should just pass the turn back whenever they pass the turn. Probably should have. Shield breaker is slow.
bleeding. It costs zero. This round. All right, let's see what we get. Mm, nothing. Looks like we get nothing. I am like pretty positive we had another warning shot, but we just never drew another warning shot. Maybe our last card's warning shot. Come on, warning shot. No, it's Black Marker Merchant. Okay, let's back to the drawing board. Guess we'll go back and try a pick a card again. <laughs> Salvage didn't look great there. Yeah, this it's something that our deck's gonna kind of struggle with is running out of cards. Hey, Del Delacroix. <clears throat> Had a no. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna try this still. We had a terrible time drawing that that twisted fate when I did. I mean, I, I messed up there with like just the twisted fate level and things like that. Like that that part of the game, I didn't play perfectly. Um, and yeah, you know, like. It's kind of rough when you're your last card, you know, like you're drawing like those glimpse beyonds later. Like that would have been something that would have been a lot better to draw earlier. You know, like whenever they had the the five five, we needed we needed glimpse beyond there. Uh, oh well. Swain twisted fades. We're gonna send them all back. <clears throat> look for these kind of cards. Look for black market merchant pilfer goods. Yeah, maybe Glimpse Beyond doesn't fit in the deck. I don't know. I don't know. It's... It's like we don't have... We don't necessarily have, like... Like, bad cards. It's just how do they all fit together? And how do we... How do we consistently win games in the late game? Like, that's that's what I think that we're kind of struggle with. Is that... Like, how do we actually... End games? Like, that part of our deck... I think could use some work. Go on then. Because Twisted Fate just kind of requires you to have so many cards in in your deck still. Because you need to, like, when it, even when you have a leveled up Twisted Fate, you know, every turn you play something, you get a blue card, you draw something else. So it's like, how do we do 20 damage? That's what I'm not sure about. My Twisted Fate's dying, for sure, so uh, I think I'd rather gold card. I'd rather take out that 3-2. That Twisted Fate's dead. Cabo, thanks for the donation deck. Did 
best try to make a really good meta climbing deck. All right, cool. I'm gonna plan on it Sunday last. It's tomorrow first. I don't like doing donation decks first because I don't always have like thumbnails for them. So Sunday last, we'll plan on that. Trust your instincts. <clears throat> that was a really good drawing, that Vile Feast. That worked out pretty well. want to play Black Market Merchant first before these pilfered goods. That's probably really greedy of me. <laughs> Just gotta get... Yeah, that's what we need is 20, 20 Twisted Fate red cards. Um... I don't think it's that hard for us to turn on Plunder, especially with us drawing more cards. Like, we'll find a Morning Shot. Or something. Make it rain. Something. If they did not kill my Twisted Fate that, that previous turn, we were going to have a crazy turn, that's for sure. Something the matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do your damage. Oh dang. Um, we about to draw some cards, y'all. We about to draw some cards. And the the greed, the greed in me wants to just play Rekindler Twisted Fate this turn. And then next turn, boom. That's the greed. But... I don't think it'll work out. It's... We have 10 mana, we can steal, <laughs> we can, we can play three Black Market Merchants and two Pilfer Goods with 10 mana. Yeah, Swain will flip, I'll have Rekindler could block Swain, presumably. This deck, it's feeling like pretty close, like it's not, it's not like our deck's bad, we're just, we're not winning the late games against some other late game decks right now. That was good for them because that only took two mana to take out both of those. Um. Oh, pass, pass. Don't don't kill merchant. Don't kill merchant. Don't kill merchant. Just pass. Okay, cool. Didn't kill Merchant. I want to take more Black Market Merchants and Pilfer Goods from them. Assume they're playing Pilfer Goods. 
Why do we get all their house spiders? That was honestly pretty poor cards to get. 100% honest. Like, we didn't get a single thing that can deal with the Swain. I guess Leviathan, but nothing at fast speed, and we didn't get any pill for goods. Um. That was honestly pretty poor. I have to get something out of my hand. So I wanted to wait till this turn so I could have Death's Hand turn on Plunder. I don't have anything in my deck. Yeah, I could Pilfer and just draw one before these two die instead of drawing two. So I could have one that costs two less or two cards. What am I going to salvage? We have nothing that costs four mana to kill this. I, I don't really know what they would have that would let me kill that. Ugh, that card's awful too. How do they how do they have so many bad cards in their deck? <laughs> what is this? What are all this this garbage? How are we taking petty officers and house spider and house spider? Yuck. Where are the good cards? No, we're just helping them out, but just cleaning all this trash out of their deck. Yeah, I mean... We are dead. Well, it looks like I should have gone Rekindler. Looks like that was that was the play was Rekin Rekindler Twisted Fate because Rekindler could have could have actually blocked Swain. So we just stole seven cards and not a single one of them could do anything about a Swain. Yeah, that was a bunch of garbage. We stole. It's like maybe we need like another champion. Like they can win games. Yeah, how do we just take all these house spiders and... What, what do I want with a house spider? I'm playing that card. Like, they were playing Twisted Fate, so I'm, I assume that they were playing Black Market Merchant and Pilfer Goods. They didn't play any of them, and we, we didn't take any either. That would've been nice. Yeah, I need some kind of removal for, for Swain. Okay. Got our slot bot for turn three. You can see the Nebastian border from here. Cool. For the homestead. See, I, that's what I kind of think is wrong with our deck is our probably our top end. 
Like Rekindler, Rekindler hasn't looked good. Abyssal I could probably be upgraded. Probably need some kind of champion. I don't know which champion. Maybe, like maybe Thresh. Maybe Thresh. I'm not sure. Keep drawing cards. Ledros? Ledros could that could be a card. That could be a card. Take heart. Take heart. Yeah, I could see I could see Ledros being a card. I can't level up Twisted Fate this next turn. Take me for a spin. Ha, ha. I I want to do all of the Twisted Fate leveling up like pretty quickly in one turn. I want to do. Yeah. Maybe it's not Ledros. I don't know. Do you like the shipwreck? It is easy. See? Our is you. Shipwreck Hoarder is enticing. <laughs> Why are all these people playing such bad cards? What is this? How are we taking the the absolute worst cards in their deck? My talents are frost. My wings, the bitter winds. They're literally just taking the worst cards. That egg, did it move? Give me something good. There we go. That's a good card. That's not a good card. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Did get a whole lot of card draw, but it kind of leaves us, kind of leaves us nowhere, with a Nivea about to just kill everything, and me sitting with a bunch of vile feasts. Kind of left nowhere. Well, that's good. Get a 9-7 and a 7-6. I forgot those things were about to get a lot bigger. Because we just drew a million cards. We need to get these things elusive. Or, or overwhelm. Or something. Going, what is going on with these servers? Block. Thank you. I know we're just we're just getting like our our opponents like anti-aggro 
we just keep drawing like their anti-aggro low cost units and that's just not <laughs> those are not things that that defeat them We've only played against control decks, right? Like, all four of these matches have just been against slow control decks. And they've just had a little bit better late game than me. this Twisted Fate to level up. Go with the flow. That is the question. Can we get a Twisted Fate to level up? So it's two out of eight. This will put it to five. Yeah, I got to hit Pilfer Goods, Glimpse Beyond, things like that. Pass turn. Pass turn. Come on, pass turn. Okay, so that gets us to six. There's a pill for goods. Okay, give me some good cards this time. We won't know <laughs> what we get until we watch this cool animation. What do we get? Hapless Aristocrat? At least Vengeance is good. At least Vengeance is good. Um... Keep trying. Keep trying. We live here. All right, this looks good. Dad Brown's about to level up. But we'll get the gold card. Keep this Brown from hitting my slot bont. Clear up a bunch of other stuff. Right now, that's what would happen. Okay, so that kills. That does kill the Twisted Fate. Dang, having some connection issues. Okay, back to me. Um, this Anivia is going to come back next turn, and I can't stop it. Unfortunately. We 
can kill that thing now. That was a lot of spells on the stack. They still have 22 cards in their deck, even after I've drawn most of their deck for them. Guess maybe I haven't drawn that much from their deck. No. I don't even want to play you, Hapless Aristocrat. I'd rather save three mana. I guess maybe I shouldn't have blocked with that slot bot. Didn't need to. They just ha always have these crappy spiderlings to block my slot bots. My slot bots just have never done. They just haven't done anything, even though they've been super big. Need them to. All right, this this is actually at nine out of ten damage, so it's, they're one damage away from leveling up Brom. <sighs> so I kind of need to vengeance the Brom, but then there's also like this Anivia. in trouble. Nakano, hello. I'm doing good. Hope you're doing good as well. I guess I attack with that thing. It just, you know, just kills their spiderling for one damage. We each died, then found hope. The game. Go on then. Okay. Leveled up Twisted Fate. How do I how do I kill a couple of O2s? Make it rain. I'm just casting I'm just casting ruination this turn. Probably. Probably just have to cast ruination. Oh, I should so I should I should not I should have these blocking the other way cuz then I could kill that thing. Oh, I should have those blocking the other way if I'm if my plan is just ruination. I mean I would have been able to take out one Anivia. Like that, that's a mistake by me. Uh, yeah, getting I'm getting Braum out of here. The thing is, is I like I want to keep on playing stuff, so I just don't really want that ruination to be in my. I don't want it to be in my hand. Does that make sense? Because I like I want Twisted Fate out here and like this other stuff out here. But I I could have had one of those Anivias dead. I would have blocked better. This is just never gonna work. Because like I had to play, I have to play Twisted Fate this turn because it's. Uh... 
This is interesting. I don't even know what's going to happen here. Well, I have to play Twisted... I couldn't go Warning Shot Parlay because I don't have one mana for Parlay. Because I had to go Twisted Fate because it was fleeting. So I had to play that thing. So with Casting Ruination, I didn't have the mana for that anymore. Like I said, I didn't have one mana to cast Parlay. I couldn't cast Parlay. I had zero mana. Oh, blue card. Okay, so if I play Warning Shot, I gain a mana with the blue card, and then I go Parlay. And then it's the red card, and yeah, that would have taken out one Anivia too. So man, I could have had both Anivias dead. Yeah, y'all are right. I could have had both. I could have had two Anivias dead. I don't know. I'm just not. I'm not playing any of this very well, am I? I get to do some attacking. about myself it's just all these games have just been so frustrating we just can't i don't know i i just can't win them i i've been losing them and I, i've had lots and lots of cards and i feel like i i feel like with lots and lots of cards i should be doing better than what i am but i'm just not So it's frustrating. I, I'm sorry. You know, like it's a donation deck. I want to do. I want to do well on with donation decks. I just don't. I just. I just can't figure out how. just over. I just don't know what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, 
Gotta wait for all these Nivea triggers. Even though I already conceded. I'm not getting rewarded for any kind of sequencing that I'm doing this whole time. And so I feel like I need to be sequencing different. But yeah, basic okay, so we've we've played against the same four the exact same deck four times in a row. It's it's been different decks, but they're all late game decks that have they're they're all defensive decks that have a really good late game plan. And it just doesn't seem that we like that our our deck doesn't have a really good late game plan. We we are also a very defensive deck, but our deck doesn't have a good late game plan where everybody else is playing defensive decks that have a good late game plan. Does that make sense? Like our plan is just draw cards, and then how do we win games? We don't we don't have a plan to to win games, and that's that's kind of the problem. Just draw cards doesn't doesn't necessarily like it. It'd be good if we were playing against, like, it would be good if we were playing against um, aggressive decks or or mid-range decks, where we can then, um, you know, where we can, we can outgrind those decks. Like we have our defensive elements, we can use removal, we can outgrind them, we get cards, and then we eventually win. But unfortunately, we're not playing against that. All we're playing against are our decks that. Um, uh. uh, we're just playing against decks that are also defensive, and we, we just can't win. We just don't have powerful enough stuff to win. No, I don't think it's necessarily that we just have too many expensive cards. It's our expensive cards aren't beating our opponent's expensive cards. If that makes sense. Never lost a we don't have... I don't think it's like our curve is too high. I don't think that. Like, we we don't have... Yeah, we don't have too high of a curve. We don't have powerful enough stuff against other control decks. Well, we are going to be drawing a lot of cards soon. Alright, I'm gonna do the not rely on Twisted Fate for leveling up. Or like not rely like not try to level up Twisted Fate. So I feel like it would be difficult to do anyway. Good, Will of Ionia. If I cast Flash of Brilliance, this will actually net me a mana, so that then I can Pilfer Goods and Will of Ionia. Okay, doing better. Um. Give me these cards back. Alright, I'm gonna burn a card. I think I just burn a card. I don't wanna cast zero mana mystic shot right now. I wanna cast it next turn. So sorry, top card, parlay, you got burned. Sorry about that.
Sure hope they don't have deny. So we have to have this thing do two first to take down the barrier, and then, then this thing does seven. Awesome, no deny. Awesome. Yeah, that's true. Like, Twisted Fate's a great engine and really good at getting you ahead, but it's not really a card to to finish games, and that's that's what we're struggling with. Finishing games. So I play this. I goal card. They play Vi. Uh, should I just attack? They kill my black market merchant. But I turn on plunder. I could use removal. Alright, so I'm kind of thinking... Like, they use, they use removal here... Um, I guess I could cast this double up and do two damage to this, which then does four damage to them. That's a lot of damage to them. And then merchant again. A lot of damage to them. Mm. I'm gonna wait on that. <clears throat> wait with this Twisted Fate and um, Slot Bot. It's not bad. Go on then. Watch the ball, folks. It's not bad at all. Four away from deep. Could just attack with the elusives and uh, basically. So I, I was thinking that like if we attack with everything, they go with the life steal barrier on Vi. I have glimpse beyond to sacrifice whatever they go life steal barrier. But now it's probably better just to simply attack with these. So the actions on them, they got to do something so that that put them down to. Yeah, that was not. That's probably not going to be good for them. Perfect for salvage, does exactly, exactly gets rid of four cards. It's me exactly deep. Perfect. Did they just bounce? What? Are they bouncing Twisted Fate? They're seriously bouncing Twisted Fate. Yeah, I thought about that. I thought about, I guess we could, yeah, just do the level up Twisted Fate anyway with the Glimpse Beyond, but... That was our, our quest was just to win a game with Shadow Isles. Uh, that was our difficult. All right, well, yeah, so basically our, our deck kind of has some problems. It's it's fun to play. It can, it can do a lot of, you know, it can do a lot of stuff. Like, you get to draw tons and tons of cards, and you have a lot of removal. 
Um, and I think this would be pretty good against aggro and mid-range, honestly, but we faced zero aggro and mid-range, and so that's unfortunate. We just faced other control decks that had better late-game plan, you know, just a whole bunch of, like, Harrowings or um, Anivias or, you know, things like that. Like, we would just get to the late-game, and we couldn't kill them because we just don't have good enough tools to kill, uh, kill them, and then they would kill us. Basically... All the Bilgewater cards are really good. The Shadow Isles cards let us down. Like, um, if you think about our, our matches that we played again, played Glimpse Beyond, meh. Vile Feast, very meh. Grasp, sh uh, re uh, Grasp, Rekindler, Vengeance, Ruination. It's basically the Shadow Isles part of the deck. It was just not good. Like that's that's basically what it was. The Shadow Isles part of the deck is good against, like I said, it like that part of the deck is good against aggro and mid range, but against control, it's really not good. So I would I would recommend, um, you know, like this this deck is real similar to um, the deck I played the other day, and we went went five zero with a deck that I really like of Twisted Sejuani. I, I would just kind of recommend this. It's it's very similar. Um, but you have like all the, like those same bilge water cards for the most part, but then you just have like some frail cards that can end games, you know, like, uh, Starless here, getting you a bunch of other plus one, plus ones, elixir of iron, uh, helping save your threats, Omen Hawk, helping these things be a little bit bigger. And then just Sejuani, you know, Sejuani ends games also, um, Honestly, Yorl Grifter probably would have been really good for us. Speaking of our deck, though, that's kind of like the card that we were missing, right? Was maybe maybe Yordle Grifter. Like, it's plenty of bilge water in here. Maybe that was like the card that we were kind of missing was was uh, Yordle Grifter. Get us some additional warning shots that would have helped out Riptide Rex. And also would have been some more um, plunder with these. That's probably the card we were missing was Yordle Grifter. All the aggro players are in Gauntlet right now. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe that's... Maybe everybody's doing... Yeah, because the Gauntlet just opened up. So maybe... Yep. There it is. Ooh, those are some cool-looking badges. Those are some cool-looking badges. We'll have to try to get those. All right. There we go. Um, that was... Uh, Twisted Control. Um, so... Anyway... Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck and all the, the things that I was just talking about with it. But anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.